Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today in this video, I get the privilege of showing you my personal best largemouth bass. When I set out on this journey to start YouTube, I thought it would be cool to film me catching fish and getting it on camera and hopefully one day catching some PBs and having that documented for the rest of my life. And luckily, in this video, I was able to do that. So far, I've been able to do that for a spotted bass, smallmouth bass, and now a largemouth bass. The uh, full trifecta is in effect. So, a little backstory on this. We went to bed about three o'clock the night before because we had a blowout on our trailer tire. And so it was really late night. Woke up real early at our horse hotel. Realized we were right next to a really nice, small little lake. Our views were gorgeous, so. I couldn't help myself. I had to hurry up, run out there, and cast a few times before uh, I had to get to work. Went out there, surveyed the shoreline, and realized that it was really grassy, lots of sticks, lots of brush, lots of bushes, and it was gonna be very difficult to fish. I found one little open spot where I ended up casting, and right away I hooked up on a big fish, and I could tell it was a big fish. It beelined it towards a, a bunch of grass and trees and shrubbery and it ended up snapping my line off and uh, anyways I was really super upset unfortunately I did not catch that part on on video I guess I'm not sure what happened to my footage I retied got back out there and uh, this is how it went down uh, enjoy my personal best large mouth bass <sighs> Went into the grass. Wasn't even trying to fight it that hard. Son of a That was a big fish. really what I wanted. Kelly. Kelly. Oh my God my PB. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have a scale. Yeah. Oh. Hey, here's my other hook. Shut up. Yeah. It's the same freaking fish. Well, good. At least you can get it out of there. What do you think that is? Six and a half? I don't know. That's a big fish. It's in my pocket. Oh my gosh. Is this like your favorite place to stay ever? Lower a little bit. There you go. There you go. You got 18 fish. Um. You happy? 
Get your way, Scal. Yeah, but we can't do it. Won't you won't get it? No, I might take it up there real quick. We set it up for me in the mid tech. You got both hooks out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a happy man now? Yeah. I bet I don't have batteries. Oh, I do. I bet it's dead. It's dead, Clayton. God dang it. I can just guesstimate it. It's it's. Big. She's got belly on her. Yeah. It's okay, it's got to be like five and a half. Okay, it's got to be five and a half or so. I guess almost six. <coughs> well, guys, we don't have a scale, but this is my PB. I'm gonna guess about five and a half to six pounds. I really don't know. I wish I had a scale. She is huge. Biggest fish I ever caught. Caught her in like 10 minutes. Happy? God damn. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to go <clears throat> and get the snack. Never been to Alabama. I catch my PB in one day. <laughs> I caught that fish like up there on the bank over there, about 75 feet away from the camper. Freaking awesome. About a 2.5. That's a nice fish though. Yeah. So, you should have seen it jumping. Sent my worm flying somewhere over here. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. I know it was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please smash that like button for personal best bass catching. And I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. Catch you guys on the next one. Kelly. Kelly. my PB. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh.